Villa Cup quarter final coming up. Three games from Europe. Watch out, Real Madrid. Here we come. Hello. Oh, hi, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, just the two signings this month. Yeah. No, they are all essential to my plans. Yes, sir. All 18 of them. Now, how can I help you here? A new contract. That sounds incredible. Yeah, I'd love a new contract, sir. Two more years. Brilliant. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to episode 5 here at HNW Welders on the Impossible Dream as we look to try and lead them to some sort of European glory. And today we have uh, Bally Clare comrades in the league and then Carrick Rangers in the Irish Cup quarterfinal. We are three games from Europe and well... That's a scary thought, isn't it? But uh, the big news since last episode, among other things, is that we have signed a two-year extension to stay at the club, which is good because it's difficult to lead them to glory if you're not at the club. So uh, we've signed that. I could have got a pay raise in the end. I just went for the same money with the extension because, let's be honest, we need the money elsewhere right now. Um, just shows my dedication to the club, doesn't it? Uh, so there we go. So that's uh, that's good. We, uh, we're we going to be staying for at least two more years, and it makes us difficult to sack as well uh, <laughs> uh, if we do have that uh, that extension. But I think we're doing okay. Now, as you heard, there is uh, some signings. Of course, there's signings. It wouldn't be a new episode if there wasn't some signings. Just let me scroll down my new signings for the year here. Uh, there's two that have come in. The first one is Reese Byrne. Um, just a bit, of a bit of extra depth, bit of extra cover up top. 17 years old, decent finisher. Um decent pace as well. We'll see how he gets on. Uh, again, these are all non-contracts, so if we don't pay him, we don't pay him. Um, and that is very much the philosophy <laughs> here at HNW Welders. And the second one, this one is actually, I think, someone that could be very important for us. Now, of course, we did lose Muller Nilsson earlier on in the season, um, but we've gone and got ourselves another uh, another defensive midfielder here. And I think he's not, he's not perfect, but he's not too bad. Uh, Jonathan Leddy... Um, he can, he can kind of pass, he can kind of tackle, he can kind of mark, um, he can kind of run around a little bit. He's only 26, despite what these physical stats say. He uh, goes to the Aussie Villain School of Fitness, I think. But the important thing is that he's a natural, deep-lying defensive midfielder, and that is, that's what we need right now. So um, he comes in, fringe player, sort of a squad player. And of course, you can see there, he can fill in at left back if we need him to as well. And we know that that's sometimes a position of weakness for us as well. So to put a bit of pressure on Conlon, to make sure he's uh, he's doing his job properly there as well. So a good utility option here for us, I think. Um, so I'm excited to have him at the club. He's been, uh, I mean, he's been an Ipswich. He, he probably should have been doing a little bit better. He's played in the Premiership in Northern Ireland before. So, yeah, let's hope that uh, we see good things from him. Now, there are three games to catch you up on since last episode. So let's start with that, uh, beginning with Queen's University. We were in front through a Donnelly Wonder Strike. Queen's University pulled level, but Donnelly played in Gareth Tommins to restore our lead before half-time, before Dykes played in Ferguson to seal the points. So this was a good win for us. We did just about deserve it. Uh, what about that opener from Donnelly? We scored some really good goals in this one, actually. All three of them in their own different ways were very, very nice. Uh, you can see the spine of the team, for the most part, played well. Conlon and Riley, a little bit disappointing out wide, but... Yeah, I mean, we haven't been getting too much out of our fullbacks this season at all in any case. But uh, yeah, solid win. Good win at home. Uh, and next up, it was a team that I can't pronounce, Long Carl or something. Michael McCallum gave us an early lead. And a Brian Morley header made it 2-0. They pulled one back before half-time. Before Gazinga restored our lead early in the second half. They pulled one back, but we got the points. So this game really could have gone either way. You can see XG suggests that it was very even. Maybe they just shaded it. Shots on target and a lot of other stats there suggest that maybe we just shaded it. Um, we got an early goal. We were 2-0 up. We were we were always relatively comfortable, uh, and it was as I said a rotated side as well. So it was good to see the second string come in and uh, and put up a good performance and get three points on the road against a team that is struggling in the league, but you know still a decent team. Final game to catch you up on was against another team I can't pronounce, Ball League or something or other. We fell behind and we're two 0 down moments later. Youngster Devlin capped his first start with a stunner to pull one back. But our fate was sealed late on. 
So a strange game this one. Uh, XG says we were the better team. We were unlucky, but at the same time, we weren't good enough. But what about that goal from Devlin? That's how you make a debut. Uh, <laughs> a wonderful, wonderful strike from the 16-year-old. Um, we and we were playing him in this sort of in this deep lying role, just basically because he can jump. Um, he's got a bit of teamwork and work rate about him and can pass. And oh, I tell you what, he can shoot from distance as well, can't he? Stunning, stunning strike. And it was actually it was a record breaking strike. So we're going to have a look at records. And not our club records, but league records. And we'll tell you what, we're racking up a few records here because he was the youngest player at 16 years and 211 days. And he was also the youngest goal scorer, obviously at the same age. And we've also got the fastest goal with Darnell Mintis. So we're setting some records in this division, um, which is which is nice to see. So well done, Devlin, uh, for that uh, for that tremendous honour, being the second tier in Northern Ireland's fastest, so youngest and ever player and goal scorer. So wonderful, wonderful start. Quick look at what that all means for the league table. And, yeah, I mean, it was a disappointing loss, but they are a good team. We've lost, obviously, a little bit of ground to them. We have a game in hand on the, the Balin Mallard United. Um, yeah, but even if we win that game in hand, obviously, we'll still be behind them. Are we good enough to get promoted this year? Maybe through the playoffs. Maybe we'll give it a shake. But, um, yeah, we're not doing too badly. Anyway, let's have a look at what we're doing here against Queen's University. No, who are we playing? Um, I forgot who we're playing. Oh, there it is right there. Bally Claire, the comrades. Uh, we're expecting a 4-3-3 from them. Uh, let's have a quick look at what uh, we're doing. It is Mulligan in goal. It's Conlon, Dykes, McKendry, and Riley is the back four. Gazinga with Cowan uh, and Tommins. It's uh, Donnelly in behind Mintus and Ferguson. Ledley, uh, sorry, Leddy is on the bench, so we might have a look at him. Devlin's on the bench if we need a wonder strike, and uh, Arthur's is there as well. All right, so we can see the team sheets here. Uh, I don't recognize any names there, but uh, I think we played them once before. I can't remember if we beat them. I think, I can't remember if we beat them or not. We did beat them, I think, didn't we? Um, expecting to see a better performance today. That might be a decent shout, actually, because we were... Yeah, that game against, or the last one up against that team, I can't pronounce. We weren't bad, but we weren't particularly good either. Um, it was yeah, just a weird game. I think, you know what, it's probably the division we play in where... You know, at moments you're going to look brilliant, and in other moments you're going to be laughably bad. So um, it's probably just one of those games that's going to happen for us for time to time where it could go either way and it doesn't go our way. Here we go, Gazinga over a free kick. Ideally, we probably want him in there, getting on the end of it. Uh, but it's cleared away. It might have been a block of a shot there. And we'll give them some encouragement and see where we go from here. Each team has had a shot. Neither has been, has been on target. And... Um, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's not much of a game so far, is it? We'll give them some more encouragement and see if we can get something going here. Anything, boys? Highlights? Here we go. We've got a corner to defend. Can we get this away, please? Where's Gazinga in there? He gets to anything. Mulligan had it covered, and it goes just over the bar. And, well, it was nice to see something, wasn't it? Can we give them a demand more before half time? No, we can't. Not a classic. Uh, XG, we had one chance, basically. They've had a couple of decent ones. Um, what do we say? You're not doing badly? I'm not sure if I completely agree with that. Let's try some fist pumping. You're capable. And uh, more to come from you. And there we go. Well, we'll see if we get anything from this. We do have a week off between this game and the cup game, which is why we're able to field such a strong team. Um... Tell you what, there must be a bit of a breeze blowing. Look at the, the goal kick just sat up there. Here we go with Ferguson. He's got Mintus with him. Ferguson has a goal. Oh, Ferguson, what a strike from Matty Ferguson. That's how you introduce yourself in the second half. What a strike that is. That is, well, I tell you what, there's going to be a few goal of the season contenders this year. Uh, only from goals pretty much that have rattled in from, uh, well, I mean, that's come, that's gone in from London. What a shot that is. Goalkeeper. <laughs> Probably, I mean, he looked a little bit scared of it, didn't he? A seventh goal, though, for Matty Ferguson. That makes him our top goal scorer. And we've got to be a little bit careful here. We don't go and concede straight away. Cross into the box. It's, oh, Conlon is never filling me with confidence back there at left back. Can he stop a cross coming in here? He can't. Dykes, oh, and that didn't last long, did it? Andrew Mooney makes it 1-1. No sooner were we up. And we find ourselves pegged back. Conlon there, he's got to win that header, doesn't he? And, uh, yeah. Dykes, could he... I mean, there's two of you there, and there's one striker. Just, you know, maybe... 
have a conversation and see which one's going to stay with him. All right, as the second half working up, Cohen's there. Gets a ball looking, I'm not quite sure who he was looking for, but uh, Tomlins will pick it up. Goes back to Gazinga. He gets it wide, looking for Mintus, finding Mintus. Mintus into the penalty area. Mintus cuts back in. Mintus has a go. Mintus off the post. Oh, so unlucky. Conlon's there. Will the highlight continue? No, it will not. Uh, Donnelly is not having a great game, which doesn't particularly surprise me, to be honest. Let's make some changes here. Uh, we've got Devlin. Devlin apparently can play up there, so let's get him on. Um, nobody else is doing particularly badly. Uh, what do you want to say? Can we... Uh, let's pump our fists. We know you're capable, mate. See if we can get a young, sprightly 16-year-old on there to, to do something for us. Uh, let's give them some more encouragement. Oh, look, I, that's so annoying. They, the lead lasted, what, 20 seconds. Uh, all right, let's, this game is ticking by. Let's see if we can change something about the way we're doing. Let's try going a little bit more direct and um, maybe playing with a little bit more width. We'll keep everything else there the same. And, uh, yeah, see if we can get something going late on here. Can we tell them to fire up? Uh, did I even hit, uh, hit anything there? I hit something. Anyway... Doesn't look like anything's going to become of it. The game, in the end, peters out to a 1-1 draw. We scored the better goal. We get a moral victory there, don't we? But, um, yeah, I mean, XG suggests they were the better team and they possibly should have won it. So, uh, what do we say? Unacceptable. We'll just say unlucky. So there we go. It is a draw. It's a disappointing result, I think, in many ways. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's one of these. It is what it is. And what a goal it was as well. Guys, wait right there. We'll be back for the uh, Irish Cup quarterfinal. Oh, three games from Europe. Could we do it? All right, now, before we get to the second game, if you are new to my channel, one thing that we do do at the end of season awards is we always have a viewer's player of the year. Now, the way this works is we need uh, you to nominate your favorite player this season or who you think has been our best player, uh, whether that be in the comments, whether that be on the Discord, link to that in the description through Twitter. Again, link in the description. Uh, you can nominate as many players as you like. Uh, try not to be ridiculous with it, though. We need to be sensible with this. It's a very serious award. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know who you think has been your favorite or our best player this season, and we'll get a nominations list together um, and uh, so we can vote on that and then announce the winner at the end of season awards. Okay, welcome back. It is Irish Cup quarterfinal time, the Peaky Blinders Cup. And, well, let's have a look. You're up against Carrick Rangers. Now, they are currently sitting ninth in the Premiership. They are just above Dungannon, who we beat uh, was it last round, wasn't it? So they're not insurmountable, um, which is a positive, I think. Uh, so let's have a look and see exactly what we're expecting from them here. If we uh, can get to the tactical meeting, please. Game, there we go. So we're expecting a 4-2-3-1 from them, which is very, very attacking, hopefully. They'll leave some gaps for us in behind. This is a team that we are sending out. It's more or less the same team. One or two changes. So Maligan continues in goal. Conlon, Dykes, McHendry and Riley will continue at the back. Gazinga with uh, Cowan and Tommins in midfield. Morley comes in for Donnelly. Donnelly didn't really play well last game. So he gets uh, he gets dropped. Ferguson and Mintus come in. They are our two, they're our two best players. They're our two secret weapons. And well, I'll tell you what. If Ferguson can score like he did against uh, that team last time out, then, um, well, we just might be a chance. Okay, so we can see the way both teams, or the both team sheets anyway, not necessarily see the way they're lining up. Uh, if you're on the Discord group, I do post this earlier on in the day. Uh, there's a link to the Discord in the description. So uh, that is, uh, that's an option if you want to sort of see some of the more behind the scenes stuff. Uh, go out there and impress me. I mean, that maybe is the best thing we can say. Um, no, you know what? Go out there and enjoy yourselves, boys. Just go out there and enjoy yourselves. This is... Uh, it's a tough game for us, obviously, against top flight opposition. Now, we did do really well against Dungannon. Do we have another performance like that in us? Well, let's hope we do. Um, the schedule has kind of eased up a little bit now as well. We're back to sort of one game a week rather than at the start where we were sort of three games a week. So that obviously helps us. Um, we do have a big -ish squad now. Obviously, having signed 18 players, that'll do. <laughs> that'll happen. Obviously, a couple have left. Um... Which uh, you know, which which means the squad size isn't actually as big as it as it could be, um, or you know, it should be if we hadn't sold anybody. But uh, yeah, the the fact that it's easing up now makes it a little bit better for us. We can we can pick and choose who you know, our best team rather than who the oh Cohen, that looked red cardish, didn't it? But we've got away with it. McKendry hacks it clear, only as far as the uh, Carrick midfielder though. There's a ball over the top. Dykes, what are you doing, mate? He's offside. 
Excellent line, Dykes. You've done really, really well there, mate. Um, How close was that? Oh, he's a mile off. Okay. We'll give you that one, Dykes. We'll give you that one. All right, come on. We've got a corner. Tommins, where's Gazinga? Is he in the vicinity? It's towards Gazinga. Back post. It's, oh, it's offside again. Mintus had scored. But is, is he offside from the flick? Oh, it's marginal. It's marginal. It's marginal. It was Gazinga with the initial head up. And Mintus, millimetres, millimetres offside. Oh, that would have been huge right before half time as well. Um, all right, let's try a little bit of a sort. If we can get the goal, I make us favourites. Uh, some no gesture we have. No, let's, let's wave our fists around. Come on, boys. Come on. No, let's not wave our fists around then. All right, Ferguson's motivator. That's all we need. Go and score a goal for us, Fergie. I mean, XG says that they have been marginally better. I mean, it's not been a classic again, has it? But, you know, up against a top flight team like this. Again, so close to Europe. So, so close to Europe. There is money on the line now as well. If uh, there's eight grand we get for this round, there would be another eight grand, I think, for the next round. So that would be huge money for us. Um... If we could, if we could manage to get it, ball forward, Conlon, mate, you've got to show a little bit more urgency for me. He goes over, he does well. All right, well done. Oh no, he's still, it's still there, it's still there. It's Mulligan has waved it into the net, and and we're one nil down. Mintus is not having a good day out there. Conlon initially did well, couldn't quite get to it. And, uh, I mean, maybe it's harsh on Mulligan. I mean, we've got to remember, you know, what level we're playing at and what sort of keeper we have. Can we demand a little bit more from them? We've got a, a free kick. Morley to take. It's a decent one. Gazinga's there. It's punch clear. And are we going to get caught on the break now? Cohen, can you win that back for us, mate? No. Come on, go on. Go on, mate. Conlon, oh, God help us all. Cross in. We don't want to go down another one. Oh, it is on the goal line, and Dykes did his best. But that is looking like that. Jack Fleet, I think he got the first one too, didn't he? Oh, it's. There's nothing Dykes could do. It's already behind the post. All right, we are going to change things up here. Um, and we're going to experiment in the process because what we're not getting is performances out of our out of our players in sort of in wide areas. There. All right, let me have a think about this. I'll edit it out and then we'll come back. Okay, if we're going to go down, we're going to go down experimenting. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do an old 4-3-3, have two Mazellos going to try and create a little bit of width. Obviously, Gazinga up top just as a target man. Um, and the game plan here is just give it to Gazinga. Uh, so hopefully that's going to work out for us. Um, maybe we'll stumble across something. We've got 15 minutes to try and save this. Uh, and to be honest, it's not looking particularly likely, is it? Are we even going to get a highlight? Two goals in four minutes, and the European dream has come crashing down. We could probably say that that didn't work because, um, well, we didn't even get a highlight out of it. Right back is becoming a problem. I mean, Conlon does it. Conlon and the two centre-backs, essentially, they do okay. Right back is a big problem for us. Mintus has not had a good day there. Uh, and you wonder that offside goal from Mintus, if that had stood... Would it have been a different story? Um, I'm going to say unlucky. At the end of the day, it was a top flight opposition. And, well, we did okay. We've got one and a half grand. Eight grand must have been the next round. So, I mean, one and a half grand, that all helps the finances. Um, I've gone bargain hunting. I don't think we've paid a penny for a player yet. So, we're doing okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that helps the finances a little bit. Obviously, it's not great that we're in debt, but it's 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 small amounts of money. It's it's something I think that is relatively easily salvageable. Um, but yeah, there we go. That there is not going to be a European campaign next season, unfortunately. And well, now we can focus on the league. And the top two are essentially gone, aren't they? It's looking as though we've got to try and sneak ourselves into this third place in the playoff, and then you know maybe we can get through that way. Um, 
but time will tell on that one. Guys, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the money today. Uh, but what I think we'll do is we'll come back for... Uh, I'll tell you what, the season's rapidly winding down here, isn't it? Um, so what we'll do is we'll come back for Dundella. That's one. That's our big local rival. And Anak... Anak I forget how people told me to say that now. But we'll come back for those two. Um, and then we'll get a sense of where we're going. And it might be a case of... Uh, actually, you know what we should probably do? We're getting to the point of season where we need to start nominating viewers player of the year. So guys, uh, in the comments, if you are new to the channel, we have an award at the end of season awards for viewers player of the year. Uh, make sure that uh, in the comments or in the Discord or Twitter, or however you want to contact me, let me know who you think has been our, your best or our favorite players, this, your favorite or our best player this year. And we'll start to get that list together. Um, like I say, we'll come back for Dundella and Anag next time around. Uh, and then we'll probably we'll probably do the last three games the way the season is, uh, is winding up here. So make sure, as I said, leave me your nominees for that. And I'll see you next time for some, uh, well, hopefully some promotion football. Take care.